to seven o'clock and you're listening to a baby BBC News special. This is a special... This is BBC News with Michelle Hussein and Evan Davis, and we're marking the death of Queen Elizabeth II. We will be remembering the Queen's life and hearing from those who've observed her close up, her long reign. But here now is Chris Aldridge with a summary of what we've heard in the last few minutes. In the past half hour, Buckingham Palace has announced that the Queen has died. In a statement, the Palace said that the Queen, who was 96, died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. Flags at Buckingham Palace and at Downing Street have been lowered to half-mast as a mark of respect. Earlier this afternoon, all four of the Queen's children travelled to Balmoral, where she had been staying since July, after her doctors raised concerns about her health. Prince William is also at the estate and Prince Harry is travelling there separately. Buckingham Palace said the new King and Queen Consort would remain at Balmoral this evening before returning to London tomorrow. Britain will now enter a period of national mourning. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, said her life had been one of extraordinary dedication and service. The Liberal Democrat leader, Sir Ed Davies, said the Queen had served our country faithfully all her life and was loved the world over. The former Prime Minister, Sir John Major, said she had been an example of duty and leadership for so very many years and we had all lost someone very precious to us. His successor as Prime Minister, Sir Tony Blair, said the UK had lost not just its monarch, but the matriarch of the nation, who more than any other brought the country together. Gordon Brown said the Queen had served the country to the last. The leader of the Catholic Church in England and Wales, Cardinal Vincent Nichols, called her a shining light in our history. Tributes to the Queen are coming in from around the world. The French President Emmanuel Macron said that throughout her reign, Elizabeth II had been a friend of France. President of the European Parliament, Roberta Metzola, said she was truly Queen Elizabeth the Great. Chris, thank you. Chris Aldridge, you're listening to a BBC News special with me, Michelle Hussein, and with Evan Davis to mark the death of Queen Elizabeth II. The statement from Buckingham Palace earlier on said that the Queen...